hello and welcome back to my youtube channel it's been a little while and i must apologize but believe me it has been chaos we've moved cities obviously you've seen a little bit of the apartment a little bit of us moving in on our first week and then i've just went radio silent so do forgive me but today i am here and i am bringing you a hair tutorial so i'm going to show you how to go from this to this it's cute isn't it i know a lot of you keep asking how do you do it what do you use can you show us on instagram so i thought let me do a youtube video then it's here to stay and hopefully you can all get big wild hair which is amazing for summer p.s i've had my eyebrows laminated do I like them i thought mm, don't know whether i've got the face shape for it because i've got such a tiny weeny little head but actually i feel a bit like a cool girl so I'm not gonna keep you waiting any longer. I'm gonna show you what we need and I'm gonna get straight on with it. So what you're gonna need is a chopstick wand. I think this is a Lee Stafford one. If I can find it, I'm gonna link it for you. This is my cousin's. She borrowed me it and she never got it back. I think it's only about 30 quid. A white tooth comb, really good to brush it out at the end. Don't forget your heat protectant, really important. We don't wanna burn my hair. Oil for the end, get it nice and smooth and a hair clip just to kind of separate and stuff like that. Easy as that. So this is honestly one of the easiest hairstyles and once it's in, it lasts for absolutely ages. It lasts me about five, six days, but don't do what I do, not brush your hair, um, because then it takes about an hour to get the knots out. So what you wanna do is you just wanna section um, your hair. As you know, if you've been following me for a while, I don't do anything perfectly. I'm very slapdash. So just take a section. I've got really thick hair. <laughs> make sure it's on to start with, that would be helpful. So take a section, make sure it's nice and brushed through, bring it forward. What you can do is do teeny tiny sections. That's gonna make it more intense. Or you can do bigger ones. Like I say, I have got very thick, coarse hair, but I normally take about that. So what's that? About two inches. What you wanna do while it's heating up, I'm gonna show you, is go in behind the head and twist it round the barrel and the same way on this side you reverse the motion and you go around the barrel now it does get quite achy on your arms but it's so worth it and when i first started using this i had never used a curling tom so if i can use it you can do it too so we don't get any beeps to say that we're hot also be really careful with this because i've burnt my leg with it before it's not funny it fell off my dressing table which was not ideal so like that, twist it round. I'm doing this in the actual screen. I haven't got a mirror. You just wanna hold it on. I'm not fussed if the bottom falls out a little bit like that because I quite like it where it doesn't go all the way to the end on some and it does on others. And you just wanna hold it. I hold it for various times. So sometimes I'll hold it on for about five seconds. Sometimes I might do about 10, 15 seconds and then let it go. And that is what you've got. You don't need any hairspray. It stays on its own. Honestly, it's the best, easiest style once you've done it. it. Just takes a little bit of time. I think it normally takes me about 20 minutes. So you literally just do this. I always go from the back of the section to the front. It makes it a bit easier. Look at that, love that. little section so I'm going to show you one bit on this side just so you know it takes a little bit of coordination once you get oh, okay didn't think this through once you get the hang of it so ideally I'll prefer that to be facing down but just because we're a little bit short on wire then have it across our body in a bit like that but it shouldn't make a difference so i'm just gonna time lapse you now because it'll be very boring
okay so this is where we're at so far absolutely boiling hot in this apartment so this will be like the little last bit don't really worry about where your partner's gonna be i kind of just half it make sure you brush it curl both sides and then once we've done that we can style it you can actually have a middle parting with this but i normally flick it over and then sometimes like day two or three i have a little middle parting so we'll just curl this and then we will zhuzh it up There we have it this is the finished result only joking obviously this is not the finished result um if you wanted to have your hair like this that's fine but um not for me so what i normally do is i normally leave it for a couple of minutes and then i start brushing it out a little bit on the ends i don't put any hairspray on it's not needed um i normally flick this over to see how it is going to look onto this side and the more you fiddle and play with it the bigger the hair actually gets which is so amazing just run your um wide comb brush through it wide comb comb wide tooth comb that's what i'm trying to get to and you can just manipulate it how you want to sometimes if i'm going out i'll put a little bit of hairspray here just to kind of lift that bit there but i prefer this hairstyle when it's a bit more lived in i think it looks a bit nicer and it drops like over the day well not it kind of stays this way for the first day slash night and then once you've slept on it what i normally do is i just get like a scrunchie like this and i just put it in a big massive bun on top of my head and then the next day it's kind of dropped a little bit so it's like big bushy waves which are absolutely lush so I just love this hairstyle for summer and as you can see it's really easy to do. Sometimes it kind of falls out a little bit here um, over the like duration of the next few days and I just add a few curls in randomly just to keep the style looking like fresh. That is how I do it. Parting on any side that you want and then I normally put a bit of oil through the ends because sometimes it can look a bit dry. This isn't bad actually a day because I've really been looking after my hair recently. Put a little bit of oil using the royal oil which is lovely um and i just kind of scrunch it up and like tomorrow put a bit of oil through it'll keep it nice and fresh and shiny and if you did want to just go straight to the waves which like a lot of people ask me how i do i would just use a normal brush and brush through it and it'll just drop and you'll have big wild amazing waves really hope you enjoyed this video i hope you now feel like you're equipped to do this hairstyle like i said i'll include everything in the description box below um let me know if you do end up doing this little hairstyle because i love it i'm gonna um put a little bit of hairspray in there and back home i think because that always looks really good. So if you do want the front just to stand up a little bit more, I normally just hold it and spray it and just keep it there for a little while and then it normally kind of stands up a bit. But like I say, just have a play around. I feel like this hairstyle just gets better and better as the days go on. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and let me know if you try this look.